Would you like your Pachira money tree grow such big leaves? Well, then this video is for you. Welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, we're going to talk about tips that will help you grow beautiful and huge leaves on your money tree. Well, here you see two of my money trees. One is a little bit smaller and one is already one and a half meters tall. The one on the left, this one is the bigger one and then on the right you see the smaller one and at the bottom of the smaller one you can see slightly smaller leaves and uh, then they grow so these are smaller and then you can see that the new leaves are much bigger and i'm going to tell you uh, a little bit about conditions and care tips how i grow them how i take care of them and hopefully this will be helpful for you as well there are several factors that can contribute to growing big leaves on a pachira money tree including proper watering, adequate light, and appropriate fertilization. Of course, the type and even the size of the pot matters as well, but let's uh, address them step by step. The first one is watering. If you water your pachira trees very often and the soil stays soggy the whole time, this very easily can create root rot. However, they like to be growing in a slightly moist soil. In my case, I even let the soil dry between watering. These are trees, so even if they stay in a completely dry uh, soil for a couple of days, nothing will happen to them. And this is exactly what I do. Basically, the soil gets dry and only then I water them again. As for the light, I think this is one of the most important for these plants. These trees prefer bright, indirect light and I would definitely recommend that you grow them very close to the, um, your window sills, to your windows. However, especially in winter when the glass can be cold, try to make sure that it's a little bit further away from the cold glass. At least the leaves should not touch the cold glass, but try to make sure that they are in a very bright and indirect sunlight. They need to receive plenty of natural light and of course also try to avoid direct sunlight as it can scorch the leaves and you will see some brown spots on them. Fertilization. So fertilize your pachiramani tree every two weeks or maybe once a month. This will also be enough but only during the growing season so only in spring and summer. You can use a liquid fertilizer. This is what I use for almost all of my plants. I dilute them in water and I water them with fertilized water basically once a month. Not very uh, frequently because this can also create some problems. Now temperature, this is another major factor. So 18 to 29 degrees Celsius or 65 to 85 Fahrenheit will be ideal for these plants. But I must say, if your temperatures drop, especially in winter to a lower degrees, let's say 15, 16 or Celsius, you can uh, notice that your pachira will lose some leaves or they will turn yellow and brown, especially the bottom leaves, that older leaves right there. They will get brown, get dry or even yellow and drop off. Uh, so this is kind of um, a hint for you that it's a little bit cold for your pachira. But don't worry, even if it drops some leaves, it will get into dormancy, some sort of dormancy, because they don't really have this complete dormant period. But if it's um, a little bit cold for them, they may drop many leaves and they will recover. They will start to grow again in spring. But I would definitely not recommend letting this happen because I would still keep my pachiras in a very warm um, area in winter and also they will continue grow. Not so fast as they would do in spring and summer of course, but definitely um, they will still be alive and not lose leaves. And pruning is another thing that you can do, especially you can see that um, with pachira they grow quite fast in the summer and uh, especially in the spring and summer. But also if you have the braided variety, the braided uh, plants, and here I have both of them are braided, let me show you. So you can see that both of them are braided and both of them continue to grow. One is bigger and this other one is smaller one is also braided and continues to grow. The one on the left I even tried to braid to continue to braid myself. I have a special video about that. Make sure that you also uh, braid them because then they will go into different directions. They will be very big and taking a lot of space. But don't expect that the continuation of braiding will be ideal because you will see that there will be a slight bump right there because 
first the stems will grow then they are cut and then you, they will grow to the side so this part will not be definitely ideal you will still have some sort of unbraided stems there as well but pruning is something that you can definitely do to encourage side growth this is actually what i'm going to do as well and you can try to even propagate your plant with this uh, pruned stems basically you will definitely not have 100 percent success rate because it's not really easy to propagate these plants from stem cuttings but definitely it's worth trying and please let me know in the comments if you will be interested to see also a kind of a propagation video about this plant so that when I prune this plant I know that I will need to record a video for you about that and also show you the results how many of the stems will grow roots etc so please write that uh, in the comments as well and if you have any questions of course please I'm always happy to discuss with you to talk to you about plants so I reply to all of your comments and all of your questions. I think um, if you're not for the first time on this channel, you already know it. And Pachiras are so beautiful. You can definitely see that they're so lush and green and definitely they help to kind of create this kind of nice green corner in our places. And remember, growing big leaves will most probably happen in spring and summer when the plants are actively growing. So do not expect or do not even force your plants to grow bigger leaves in autumn and winter. Even if you fertilize it, it will not help. And I will definitely not recommend fertilizing it in autumn and uh, winter because the growth will be much slower and your plant may even go into dormancy, lose some leaves. So at this point of time, if you fertilize them, it will even harm your plants. I hope your pachiras will grow bigger leaves and stay passionate about plants. I will see you in the next one. Would you like your Pachira money tree grow such big leaves? 